Australian government is about to announce a package to try and create 500,000 jobs over the next couple of years. Is this dangerous for New Zealand's economy in terms of more skilled workers uh, being attracted to Australia in the face of the cost of food? Well, it depends on what the, you know, where those jobs are being created. But I mean, we we're always conscious of the competitive threats with Australia. We're also conscious of the fact that a strong Australian economy helps New Zealand. So, yeah, it's a double-edged sword. Um, I actually think if you look at the, the steps we have taken as a government, they've been positive. I mean, we have a much lower top personal rate than Australia. Uh, we're starting to invest heavily in our infrastructure. Um, and I think actually, as the AFR pointed out in one of its um, articles a couple of weeks ago, if you strip mining out from Australia, it's very much a two-speed economy over there. I think in many respects New Zealand's doing quite well. It doesn't mean there's not a lot more that we need to do. Would that create worries with your government, though, that you might need to bring some job creation initiatives forward? Uh, well, I think we've been doing a lot in that area. I mean, there's... Uh, you know, we're going to see the unemployment data this week. I don't know what it'll be like, but um, you know, the government's been doing... You know what it can practically to stimulate the economy and to create jobs. From what I see in terms of the unemployment data, at least that the unemployment data is tracking down. And in the leading area, which is Auckland, and those on unemployment benefit are considerably lower today than they were, for instance, this time last year. Do you think unemployment numbers will fall? Don't know. Well, I mean, household labour force survey is notoriously volatile, so I wouldn't want to make any predictions on it. But.